taking the dogs for a walk near the pier. It's a gorgeous day. The past few days have been kind of gloomy. And today the sun is out. So Kathy is happy as a clam. She also finished her job for Ellen. Good job, by the way. And we're just gonna walk the beach a bit. any beach cleanup in quite some time so we're gonna look around see what we can find. I'm always on the hunt of sandals as you may already know. And then Kathy got a bug up her butt about taking a hike. Yes, she did. It was a big bug too. Now going over to Point Doom for a little hike. Kind of a, kind of an exploration Ooh, hike. Whales. Yeah. A while since we've been to Point Doom. Yeah, did last year. Yeah, and we did see whales last year. is known for a lot of famous people, actors, producers, people that... Um, we saw Bob Dylan once a time ago, but he lived up here. Yeah, lots of interesting people up here. Uh, in fact, there's a high probability that this person's house right here is somebody interesting. You never know. I find people interesting regardless of what they do. Case in point, Kathy. doom that technically you're not allowed to go on but it's really cool I want to show you guys the view Kathy's up here getting some pictures but I'm gonna go down either this way or that way I think I'm gonna go down there let's go check it out A seal. There's a seal down here somewhere. I'm gonna find him.
Okay, we're, we're headed north on PCH. You either go north or south. You don't go west or east, even though technically it is an, a west-east road. I know. We're heading up to Santa Barbara because my sister, Jordana, is moving from Santa Barbara to Ventura because she got a new job, which she's been in the job for a while, but she's, uh, she's working with the Ventura County Alzheimer's Association, which is totally not the name of the place, but close enough. We're driving the 2018 Genesis G80, which I, I would like to say I know a lot about, but I, at the moment, I don't know anything about it because I haven't looked at the, uh, at the spec sheet. But we're gonna go on a long distance drive with this. Oh, we got our Joe, thanks to Starbucks. The small one. The small one. That's what we're doing. So we have a long drive, about an hour and 15, 20 minutes, and we'll show you guys uh, how nice it is. It's a great day today. sister's place spotted this really cool Jeep station wagon not really sure what year that is if you guys know leave it in the comments and now we're gonna help my sister move I don't see any moving truck or anything she's not here she's not here so the guys aren't here yet we're gonna have some peanut butter sandwiches until they get here they're on their way gotta load her place up and then we'll go Uh, we're we're in Santa Barbara. And you hauling it? We're moving uh, Jordana, which she's nowhere in sight. No, that's a smart move. S smart. Go yeah. hide while we move yeah. the heavy I'm stuff. Trying to hide yeah. also. <laughs> we're gonna move stuff. I don't know what. Kathy's moving the heavy stuff. I just want to go and hang out at that, that, that Jeep over there. Yeah, and that's the muscle. Yeah, that's look at that. that. That's what's lifting. Yeah, we don't have that. No, no, she's got no, it. no. I'm lifting you up. You know what? We should just sit here and let Kathy move. Let's have donuts. Do you have coffee? Do we? I want coffee Good. and donuts. All right. Now, uh, 
We just finished moving everything into the truck in Santa Barbara. We're back in the car and we're driving to Ventura following the U-Haul truck that Ethan's driving. And I have the job of holding the cactus and I already have like four quills in my hand. Yeah, it's a painful job. As you know, if you've moved, it's, it's not fun. But as long as we can just follow the U-Haul truck, we'll be just fine. man well actually it went incredibly well considering yeah <laughs> this is a, a part of the house that kind of um, well e Ethan you should tell the story because it's it better coming from you it all started with a meteorite that I saw shooting across the sky and came crashing down distractions on top of, all right I backed up into it yeah you backed up into a, what is that thing it's in, like an it's overpass, an overhang. overhang at the house. It's now not an overhang. Yeah, it's an underhang. Yeah, it's a no-hang. Yeah. Sorry. Things happen. What are you going to do? Sometimes you hope for things to go smoothly, and then they don't. They don't go smoothly and something happens, uh, but you can always be grateful because uh, that situation could have been a lot worse. But let me kind of explain what happened. So we packed up the truck in Santa Barbara and we, we, we drove down to Ventura and uh, went to the new house where, Kat, where uh, Jordan is moving in. And Ethan was backing the truck in to be able to unload and what he didn't see is that there was kind of a, a an overpass thing at the, the driveway that's built because the garage is set back a little further. And as he was pulling the truck, the uh, the van, the U-Haul van in the back, was going so slow that it just kind of set up against that, that bridge thing. So he bumped it a little bit, but he, he couldn't really tell that he was even touching. And, and then he hit the gas and the, and the truck wouldn't move, so he hit the gas a little bit more and it slowly pushed the thing and then the thing fell over and crashed to the ground. It had tile across the top of it. It was built with stucco and had metal. It was a mess. It was a mess. So the whole thing fell into the driveway. Thank God it didn't fall into the driveway completely because had it done that, we would not have been able to unload the truck because there would be no place to, you know, that the wall would have been about four and a half feet tall. There's no way to unload that stuff. A couple of good things is we did announce something really amazing is coming to Wheels and Waves. Something truly spectacular is coming to Wheels and Waves. I'm going to get into it in tomorrow's vlog a little bit more, but for Wheels and Waves on May 20th, GM is bringing their Hot Wheels 50th anniversary Camaro. It's it's painted in orange crush. It's a sick ride. It's a sick ride. Spectacular. So that's the good news for the day. And the second part of the good news today is this right here. This is 20 drawings, 20 finished illustrations. I think I finished them. For the new Mustang coloring book. Badass. You want to see the latest one? I'll show you the latest one. It's pretty cool. We're letting go drifting apart. There's no use trying to pretend. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. So you guys are going to dig this book. Kids are going to dig this book. Anybody who's into the Mustang is going to dig this book. A week, I figure, a week or so by the end of next week, next weekend, should have the book finished. You, be, you guys will be able to see the cover and all that kind of stuff, the good stuff. It's been an epic day. It's been a crazy epic day. Happy to help my sister. Happy to, you know, watch Ethan, you know, crush that house. It was pretty cool. And, and the day's over. The day's over. And that's it, folks. You know, our job is to help you improve your life through what you love. And sometimes what you love is to crush things. I can hurt you like you hurt me